Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of Kurt Buckman's Fishing Fusion. So today, uh, you know, they say Disney World is the happiest place on earth, but if you're a fisherman, Bass Pro Shops Outdoor World is the happiest place on earth, and that's where we're here, to, that's where we're filming today. So. We're gonna be um, checking out, you know, the inside. Maybe getting a few lures, probably not, because I'm going to college soon and I don't wanna go broke. And speaking of college, uh, I wanna provide a little update on uh, where Fishing Fusion is going and what's happening in regards to that. So uh, me and a lot of other people that were gonna be participating in the Great Fishing Fusion tournament are going off to college soon. And you know, given the circumstances like regarding like Corona and stuff, I don't exactly know if the tournament can happen this season. So we're we're gonna try. We're gonna try to get like we're we're gonna try to get everyone together. That obviously properly social distance. We're gonna take all the precautions. But um, yeah, we don't we don't necessarily you know because there's still a number of like you know like a few guests that we need to have after this before I leave for college, before I leave for Roger Williams to uh, do my studies. So just giving you guys a general update on that. Um, I don't wanna, I know I talked about the tournament. It will happen eventually. It will happen someday if it doesn't happen this season, if it's not the season finale. But uh, just figured I'd let you guys know that because I don't wanna make any promises I can't keep. Look at this idiot. Oh my God, he's here. There he is. No consent. No consent. <laughs> you, like, you like my shirt? I love your shirt. You like it? I do. Why are you filming? Across the street, Alright, guys, so we're in Bass Pro's uh, standard procedure section right now. We've got a lot of spinners right here and a lot of. Uh, stick baits over here um this is kind of where i like to be this is the kind of the easiest place to look around uh, these spinners are great uh these are the kind that i like i like the booyahs and the um there's a few that i haven't thought of but you know this section i like i like me some spinners i, I don't think i've used them on fusion I, I probably will tonight when we film another episode uh that's a promise i'll make i will use a spinner tonight fusion While I'm here, a lot of people want to know how to set up a, uh, what do you call it, a proper rat wacky rig. So might as well show that while I'm here. So uh, what you're going to want to do is, uh, you can see the Sanko section is uh, literally completely empty, except for this stupid f***ing color. So uh, what you're going to want is, you're going to want to get four inch, but not this color, not with a tail. This is really just me ad-libbing it because I have no idea. So. What you do is you stick the worm in the bat. This is what we call the bat. Uh, it looks like a baseball bat, that's why I call it that. And these little rings, you kind of want to center it right on the worm. And then I'll show you what to do from there. So then what you're gonna want to do is buy a wacky hook. It says it right on there. It's pretty much, it kind of tells you what to do. There's nothing too specific. And then you uh, throw the wacky rig under the ring. You don't want to pierce the uh, worm at all. That's so that you can conserve the worm over and over and over again and conserve the ring. And it's, it's, very, it's a very conservative way of fishing and also very effective. I'll definitely be using it uh, next episode. And now we're going to go help Neri pick out a spinner since I'm the master and Neri wants to learn from the master. I've already helped someone here today. Joey can attest to that. Yes. Yeah, Neri, you know the colors I like. This would work. I know you said you didn't want something expensive, but spinners are kind of expensive. So yeah, something like this would be fine with the smaller spoon and the bigger spoon and it's light. So it would be pretty good for the dam. Just you know, don't use it in the drops. You know, Neri, f it. That one's expensive. Use this one. Better colors, smaller, less expensive. Try that one out. All right. Thanks. All right, so Neri, you want to know a good reel we got? <laughs> that mother Right there. No, no, you know, I think I was looking at on this one, actually. Oh, yeah, that one. For all of, uh, 12, oh my God. For all of $1,200. Oh. Look at this. State of the art right there. I'm being completely sarcastic. You know, they say when you're at Bass Pro, you have a whale of a good time. <laughs> 
You know, I gotta say, uh, filming in here has probably been the most awkward experience in my entire life. Uh, it's very hard to sort of film and not make people, uh, not, not get people caught in the, literally right now. So right now, I'm about to show you guys the section of Bass Pro, the pro fishermen don't want you to know about. It's very quiet over here, which is very nice. Uh, it's way more quiet than the other place. We can actually film without getting interrupted. And also, it has Vibrix products. See, see this little fish? There's tons of little interesting sort of knick-knacky lure, lures over here. It's got a bunch of rooster tails. Um, very versatile baits over here. And nobody ever, there's no, look, there's no one over here. It makes, it boggles my mind how more people aren't always in this section because I'm over here more than I'm over there. That's a lot. But I'm over here a lot more than the average bear. Oh my God, oh my God, a bear. Look at the size of that ham hawk. Thing's massive. Oh yeah, let's go with that one. With my COVID. Shrimp on a stick, shrimp gumbo. A motto to live by. I like bears. Bears are cool. Bears are like the coolest animal. Except for hawks. Hawks are the coolest animal. No, 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 we're not getting political on Fishing Fusion. All right, guys, so uh, what I've learned today is that we are never filming in a store again. Never. Never. Why? Because that was miserable, trying to do that. So, um, anyways, I think that just about wraps up this episode of Kurt Buckman's Fishing Fusion. And uh, stay tuned for next episode because we're going to be filming with uh, Jonah. John, John Fish, Mr. John, John Fish himself. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one, guys. We'll see you on the next episode. So guys, we're, uh, it's not gonna work. It's not, no.